Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I'm, I'm right now, I'm driving in uh, Kansas. And, uh, but I was just thinking, and uh, what, and I was, I was thinking about uh, up in this, up in the southern part of Kansas. And um, in uh, the 80s, early 80s, late 70s and early 80s, um, I was in the oil business and I had oil wells and the one thing that really shocked me was money <laughs> uh, money had a little value and when I say that I mean that's the first time I've ever been in a business with such big dollars I mean uh, like, like I say, I, I'm frugal. I, I, I spend my money wisely. I look at it, but uh, and so I try not to spend a whole lot of money. And uh, but when I was in the oil business, like I remember, I was what, 30, 30 years old that time, late late twenties, something like that. And um, and I never, I, I've never been around that much money. Uh, everything cost a lot of money and um, it, that was the only time I've ever been in debt I had to borrow money and and really it was just to borrow money to put it in my checking account because I was running through so much money and um, and there were big amounts I mean a lot of times I'd be writing checks for six figures and um, so it was kind of, you, after a while, you get to the point where the the money has no value. You know, it's just figures. That's all it is. And uh, I remember what really made me start thinking about it is I saw back here, well, back here, just road right back here, a house, and they had, uh, uh, see, we got small, there's small oil wells here. But they've got enough gas that comes off of these oil wells. It's just it's just thinned out to nowhere, and um, you can uh, put this gas uh, if you can uh, if you separate it, separate the fluid from it, and compress it. You can run it in your house. It's just it's ready to go. I mean, the only thing there's no smell to it, and. Uh, like natural gas, they put the smell stuff so you can smell it. But when you're taking it right off the the, the oil well, there's no uh, uh, there's no smell to it. And I remember I used to get I had no problems getting up oil wells, and people liked me drilling oil wells on their property. Uh, and the thing is, I'm not going to go into the uh, exactly how the oil business works and stuff but uh, but what it is like I say I like people I serve people I take care of people and so when I want to if I see this land like this land out here and I decide I wanted to drill an oil well on there and somebody's house is uh, within a quarter mile of it I would uh, I would ask them if I could drill a well and then most of the time they say no they don't like people doing it you know, kind of like that house. I don't know if you can see it. There's a house over there, out in the middle of nowhere, and they don't like having all this stuff. And you know, it, money isn't that big of a deal. People think money's a big deal. Well, that's because most people are city folk, and their whole lives are based on money. Country folk, money is not that. It's not that big of a deal. And uh, but I and I tell them, I say, well, if you let me drill a well on your property, and if I get oil. I'll put up a, I'll give you free gas. And so you can heat your house, you can heat your barn, you can heat your chicken coop. You know, you can heat anything you want. You got all this free gas, you can do what you want to with it. And it was funny because it would cost, oh, between, oh, maybe three to $5,000 to do it. And this was way back then. And it was no big deal to me, you know. I wanted to, like I say, Run a, and then see, there's see some oil wells, and see the house is right back. We just passed the house, 
you know, there's some more oil tanks and oil wells here. I could vent that that gas right to your house, and it cost thirty five thousand dollars. I just eat the cost, no big deal, you know. And uh, pick up, like I say, I'd be drilling oil wells, and I'd be doing more and more, and you know. Uh, but it was so funny because, like I say, money really meant nothing to me. I spent a ton of money uh, drilling oil wells, finishing them up. Uh, then the oil wells would produce oil, and I'd make some money on that. And you got to remember, you know, like $100,000 in my world is a lot of money. But these big oil companies, they don't mess with that stuff. There's not enough money there to mess with. So that's why uh, they let us small producers do all that kind of stuff. And then eventually they wanted the small producers out. We're still competition, so they, uh, that's how the end of the oil business came. The, the big producers worked with the government, and then they decided they wanted to tax us and, and put us out of business. And that, that's, that's what happened. They, they do that all the time. I've seen it in gas stations, uh, restaurants. They're doing that in restaurants. You see all these big chains? You see how many big chains? And you see how many small mom and pop restaurants there are? They're putting mom and pop restaurants out of business through regulations and tax and stuff like that. So this is the way big business and, and government work together. But uh, but like I say, the reason I'm talking about this is like I say, the money, how money has no value in uh, when you think about it. When you're, you're in the money business, I guess you might call it. Because also like in the 90s, uh, I was I was doing some trips to Vegas, and uh, I noticed in Vegas the same thing. Money has no value. I mean, it's just money. You know, that's their attitude. And so when you go to Vegas, I mean, that's, to you it's money when you get there. But really, you get greedy and you start playing their their slot machines and all this kind of stuff. You get greedy and you don't look at money as money as value. You don't look at it like that because you just get greedy and you just want to do it. That might be the same attitude that's in the, the oil business. I, yeah, I don't know, I, but I didn't get greedy. Now, I know there were people that would get greedy, and but like I say, I, to me, it was just a business. I just drill oil wells and I produce oil and I make money. I didn't get greedy about it. But I know a lot of people, they would get greedy thinking they're gonna spend $10,000 and they're gonna make $20,000 in, in you know, three or four months, stuff like that, you know. So they, they, their motivation is greed. And me, I just enjoyed working in the outdoors. So it was no big deal to me. I just, like I say, I've seen, now see, I don't, I've never had a job. I mean, not really, I've worked jobs before, but normally just a short time. And so I've always owned businesses. So I've never really looked at money as, I never get greedy, I never, you know, my life was never based around money. My, my life was based around business. So uh, I don't, you know, I really don't get all involved with the money part. But I know I'm going to make money. It doesn't make any difference. Just how much and, and when am I going to make it, I don't know. It's no big deal. But uh, like I say, it is weird when you're working with businesses that, that money has no value. And uh, so that's another reason why it's hard for me to explain a lot of things to people. Because, like I say, they look at things uh, so much different uh, than I do when it comes to uh, money and finances and stuff like that. Like I say, I've, I've never been worried about money. And even my wife, she was amazed that I wasn't no concern. Well, that's because I work hard, I take care of people, I serve people, and uh, I just don't worry about it. And as I got older, it just seemed like I need less money. I say, uh, I haven't started doing any work. I've been here in um, the States for about, oh, two weeks now. And I haven't really done much work. I just made a little bit of money. And, uh, but I still run around, I do my thing. And it's amazing, how do you do all this stuff without spending money? And uh, what it is, right back to the same thing, I serve people. And uh, by serving people, uh, they take care of me like I take care of them. So it's not that big a deal. So, and it's a mindset. Uh, I've, I've learned that too. Uh, I say I'm chasing women, and it's the same thing, you know. The women are all focused on money, and so it's it's, it's just hard, 
hard to, hard to do all this stuff. I mean, and the, a lot of them don't realize, they don't, they look at me and they say, well, this guy don't care about money. You know, they don't understand. I don't want their money. I don't need their money. They, they got a house. It's your house. Good. I don't want your house. You know, it's funny. Uh, because like I say, it's, what do I need your house for? I'm homeless. I don't need a house. You know, so it's funny. Why is that? <laughs> because I own a hotel. So uh, there's, and I have other businesses and they all bring in something. Not much, like I say, but it brings in something. And that's what counts. But uh, I just thought I would share this with you about the value of money. Because we put way too much um, interest in money and making money. But like I say, when you live your life guided around money, that's what happens. And that's why it's hard to serve others and, and be more open-minded when you're focused on money. But um, what I'm trying to say is take it easy, money will come as long as you are pleasing people and helping people and uh, watch. But some people get the attitude that money doesn't have no value. And just let you help think and realize we're not all equal even when it comes to money. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.